Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code weekly contest 348. It's an easy level problem, uh, but the accuracy is on the lower side as compared to the other, you know, easy problems that you get. It's the it's the second problem of the contest, but yeah, it's an easy one. You get three points to when you solve it. Okay, the problem name is semi ordered permutation. So you are given a zero index permutation of n integers nums. Now permutation is called semi ordered if the first number equals to one and the last number equals to n. Okay, you can perform the below operation as many times as you want until you make nums a semi ordered permutation. Okay, now what is the operation that I can perform? It is pick any two adjacent elements in nums and then swap them. Okay, return the minimum number of operations to make nums a semi ordered permutation. Now permutation is a sequence of integers from one to n of length n containing each number exactly once okay simple you are given a permutation like for example here i have two one four three i need to perform minimum number of, number of operations to make it semi-ordered what is semi-ordered at the first position you should have one okay and at the last position you should have four in this case n right i mean you should have n in this case four okay it it doesn't matter what are there in the middle middle positions right so from elements 2 to n minus 1 will be present uh, in, in this part but it, the order doesn't matter the only thing that matters is this and this okay so i have to tell the minimum number of operations and what is an operation operation is basically i choose two adjacent elements and i swap them okay that's it so the problem is easy but there is a tricky case i'll tell you that okay why the problem is easy because at any particular point of time i can choose two adjacent elements and i also know that at which position I need to put that element finally. Like for example, here I have one, right? I I know that I need to shift it on the left hand side. Okay. So always what I'll do, I'll choose one and the element on the left hand side. I'll swap it. So it becomes one, two, four, three. Okay. Now I am done. One is at the correct position. Now what I'll do, I'll choose four because I need to take four to the last position. So I know that four needs to move to the right position. Okay. So I'll, so I'll be choosing two adjacent element four and the element on the right hand side, you just swap it, it becomes one, two, three, four. So two operations were performed and two is my answer. Okay. Let's take another case. This one is a better one. Two, four, one, three. Okay. These are the four elements. Now this is a position of one. I know I need to take it here. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll swap these two. It becomes two, one, four, three. Okay. Then what I do, I swap these two. Because this is the new position of one, I need to take it to the first position. So it becomes one, two, four, three. So after two operations, this is the configuration of my array. But there is one thing to observe. That thing is the initial position of four was this. That means index number one. But because of a swap, because of a swap, what has happened? Four has moved one position on the right hand side. Okay, four has moved here. So that means when you are performing operations, the position of the second element that means the, the the element that you need to take at the last position is also changing so you you need to take care of that as well okay bluntly we do not need to do something like this that okay this is the position of one so these many steps i need to perform and this is the position of four i need to perform these many steps no because when you move one to the left hand side four will also there is a chance that four also moves on the right hand side when when four is on the left hand side of one right that's the only tricky case okay so this is the configuration after you move one to the correct position sorry this is the configuration one two four three so now the new position of four is this you just do one swap you get one two three four and that's what you want right you you want one here and four here so three is your answer three swaps right one two and three let's take the last case so it is one three four two five so one is present at its correct position five is present at its correct position so i don't need to perform any operation answer is zero right so what i'll do here uh, since this is this is an easy level problem and also the constraints are very low i'll simply do the swapping okay i'll exactly perform the swapping reason being the position of the element can change and finally i'll do it twice right once uh, i'll do it once for the element number one i'll do it uh, the, the the second time i'll do it for element n right so let's see what i'm doing here answer is equals to zero these are the number of elements i have index one is basically what is the you know index of one in the initial configuration and index n is the initial position of n right if i is not at the correct position meaning if nums of zero is not equal to one, okay, that means I need to bring one to its correct position. How do I do that? First, find the index of one. Where is it right now? So for i is equal to zero, i less than n. 
if nums of i equals equals 1, this is the index of 1. Just break the loop because I found it out, right? Now, suppose this is the array. Okay. This is the position of 1. What I'll do? I'll swap these two. So this element will move here. This will move here. Okay. And ultimately, 1 will be placed here. So that is what I've done here. Nums of i is equals to nums of i minus 1. That means bring this element here. Bring this element here. And these are operations. So increment your answer. Finally, what you do? At this position, just place one. Okay, that's it. Swapping is basically shifting and placing one here. Okay, now that is done. One is at its correct position, and there is a chance that n has also changed its position. Okay, so that is why if n is not at its correct position, check if nums of n minus one is not at, equals to n, what do you do? Now find the position of n. Okay, for i is equals to zero, i less than n. If nums of i equals to n, that's find out its position, break the loop, right? Now this is my array. This is the position of n. Okay. What I'll do? Bring this element here. Okay. Let me make a larger array. Bring this element here and place n here. Simple. So that's what I've done. Nums of i equals to nums of i plus 1. Right. Like this. And place n, uh, place n at this position. Okay. And when you are performing this operation, just increment your answer. That's it. Big O of n time complexity. Right. That's it. So yeah. And finally, what do you do? You return your answer. So yeah, just do what the problem is asking you to do. The only tricky case that I feel is do not just consider the initial positions. Yes, you can do it without iterating. I would say the other approach since this was a contest, this is this is how I code it. The other way could be that, okay, you find the initial position of n initial position of one. And obviously if four, if the index of four, uh, sorry, in this case, Okay, if the index of n is less than index of 1, that means when I do the swapping, n will move one position on the right hand side, right? So I can I can take care of that, right? I do not need to do these traverses, right? That is also possible. But again, since the constraints follow, this is how I code it, right? Here, I do not tell you the most optimal solution. Rather, I tell you that in the first go, when you see the problem, how you approach it, okay? Obviously, you can keep on iterating and probably uh, improve your solutions, right? This is how I code it in the contest, right? So yeah, that's it for this solution. I hope you learned something new from this video. Do support it by giving up thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel as well. Also, uh, I I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy. Have fun. Bye-bye.